Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is so soft. Amazing, amazing yarn. Now this is from Hobby and it's called Carnival. The number on this is 02 and this one is Carnival Venice. Look at the colours and that's absolutely beautiful. Now I found this beautiful stitch to do this variegated yarn and it's absolutely beautiful look at this now <laughs> you may think oh my goodness Alison I am not going to be able to do that you are going to be able to do this you have confidence in yourself this yarn is beautiful it's lovely to work with as well I'll leave a link underneath the video for this it's so beautiful it's so pretty look at that and that stitch now look at this stitch this stitch is so pretty in all different colors i love this yarn for showing you what the colors look like or this stitch looks like look at it and that blue is beautiful now this is called crowned shells it's a crowned shells stitch because you're actually crowning over the top of the shell with this now don't be put off by it please do not be put off by this beautiful stitch it, not because it's a beautiful stitch because you might think i'm not going to be able to do it but you will you will be able to do this you know but any way you like it's completely reversible you get nice straight edges look at that for straight edges you get nice straight edges on both sides of your blanket. You've got a straight edge on the bottom and you've got this nice little pattern across the top. If you want to have a straight edge on the top, then you'll do UK one row of UK double crochets, one into each stitch all the way along. And that'll straighten the top if you want it straight. But I like it with that little fan like this so I'm going to show you how to do this so to demonstrate this stitch I'm going to try that I'm going to try this one look at this it's absolutely beautiful now it's a hobby yarn and it's called butterfly the color number on it is 13 now it doesn't have a name for it it's just called butterfly and the color number is 13 look at that it's absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful i'm going to start from the outside i know a lot of the time i go from the inside of the yarn but this time i'm going to go from the outside up so i'll take my label off and i'll keep my label so to do this pattern your stitch count is six you'll do as many sets of six as you want and once you've done that you'll add an extra two stitches to the end of your chain so I'm going to do oops I'm going to do my little sample so I'm going to do my chain in sets of six don't do your chain too tight that's one two three four five and six one two three four five and six one so i'm going to do a little sample so now i'm going to add an extra two stitches add an extra two stitches one and two so into the second stitch in your chain count one and two you're going to do a double crochet a uk double crochet and do a double crochet into the next stitch you're going to skip one stitch and build a fan now i'm going to call them fans it's a lot easier you're going to put three treble crochets into the same stitch and that'll build your fan so yarn over skip a stitch and build your fan with three treble crochets that's one two and three 
skip one stitch and then do three double crochets one into each stitch so skip a stitch and you'll do your three double crochets so that's one one into the next stitch is two and one into the next stitch is three skip one stitch and then build a fan So your fan is three treble crochets. That's one, two, and three. Skip one stitch and do a double crochet into the next three stitches. So skip one and do one double crochet into that stitch, one into the next, and one into the next one skip one stitch and build a fan and you'll do that all the way along your chain so skip one and build your fan one two three all into that same stitch skip a stitch and double crochet one double crochet one into the next one that's two and one into the next one that's three skip a stitch and build your fan skip a stitch and do your three double crochets all the way along to the end skip one and put a double crochet into that stitch and a double crochet into that stitch so you should have three stitches left so skip one and do a double crochet into that stitch and a double crochet into your next stitch then you're going to chain three and turn one two and three and turn your work so right into the very bottom where that chain three is that's your first treble crochet you're going to put one treble crochet into that stitch You're going to skip a stitch and then across the top of the fan you're going to put one double crochet into each stitch so skip that stitch and then do one double crochet into the top of the fan one into the next stitch and one into the next stitch so that's putting the crown on the top of your fan so you've got three double crochets here you're going to skip one and build your fan into the middle one so that's three treble crochets that's one two and three you're going to skip a stitch and then across the top of this fan you'll put a double crochet into each stitch so skip that one put one double crochet into the top of that one one double crochet into the top of that one and one into the next one that's three and you're back to three double crochets you'll skip that double crochet and build the so you're back to these three stitches skip that one and build your fan into this one into the middle stitch one two and three so that's your built your next fan skip a stitch and put one double crochet into the top of this fan one into each stitch that's one two and three you're going to do that all the way along your length of chain so I've put my double crochets around the top of that last fan one two and then three around the fan I've got two stitches left I'm going to skip one and put two treble crochets into this last stitch 
so yarn over one and one more into there you're going to chain one and turn and that's what your first two rows look like it's really pretty and you're going to keep repeating these two rows that one there with your treble crochets in the first stitch and then you skip your stitch and do your fans so the next one you're going to put a double crochet into that stitch there right into that very first stitch and one into the next stitch skip you're at your three stitches again skip that one and build a fan that's three treble crochets you're just going to repeat that all the way along just like we've been doing skip one build a fan skip one do three double crochets so skip one and you're going to do your double crochets around the top of that fan so skip that we're just going to repeat that row that we've just done and three double crochets so you've got your three in the middle here skip one and build your fan one two and three treble crochets skip a stitch and do your three double crochets around the top of this fan so skip a stitch and do one double crochet one double crochet into the next one and one double crochet into the next one skip a stitch and build a fan skip a stitch and do your three double crochets around one and then one into the next stitch and one into the next one skip a stitch and build a fan one two three treble crochets to make your fan skip a stitch one double crochet into the next one one into the next one and one into the next one around that fan skip a stitch build a fan you're going to do that all the way to the end of your chain and three so you should have three stitches left one two and the one on top of this chain skip that one and you're going to do a double crochet into this stitch and a double crochet into the top of that chain so skip one and do a double crochet and that's your chain of three you're going to put your hook through the top of that chain of three there we go you're going to chain three one two three and turn and you're going to put a treble crochet right into that stitch and you're going to repeat that row so you'll skip one and you'll do your three double crochets skip one build a fan skip one three double crochets skip one and build a fan so you'll be building the fans in the lo in these bottom stitches in the middle and when you're on a fan you'll put a double crochet into each stitch across the top and that's the two rows you'll keep repeating just rewind the video and do the one with two double crochets skip a stitch build a fan and just follow those two rows and this is that beautiful beautiful pattern oops i went and ripped my stitch out oh be careful i'll just fix that i'll fix that back up And one into there. I'll pull that up so I don't pull 
pull that out. I should put a stitch marker in there. And you end up with this beautiful pattern. I'll zoom down a bit. And that's what you'll end up getting. Now the only change is at the ends, one stitch has two treble crochets and the beginning of the next row has two, a double crochet and a double crochet. And that's what you'll do to get this beautiful pattern. Just rewind the video and watch those two rows again. It's only the end that changes, the beginning and the end. In between, it's always a fan, three double crochets, a fan and three double crochets. Give it a try. Don't give up with it. Once you've got the hang of it, it's really easy and it's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. It's beautiful in that yarn. I just love the feel of that yarn. It's absolutely beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. Please click on the subscribe button. It's it's completely free to subscribe to any YouTube channel. You don't have to pay to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube, I'll tell you when I put up another tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.